Today on Things I Think I Know How to Do, I'm gonna show you how to moss your roof. This is at least how I moss my roof, and if you wanna moss your roof, you can moss it like this too. First thing that you need is a lot of moss. It's no coincidence that we chose this location for Cabin Land because it's mossy. So you can actually order it online. It comes in sheets and you gotta kinda liven it up and spray it with water, maybe even a little food coloring or something like that because it's not as thick and lustrous as this. But if you live in a place that has a lot of moss, you might be in luck and this is how you can moss your roof. So, I made up this little mock roof right here because my roof is different than your roof, the angles, the pitches, but this sort of concept can work on any kind of roof and here's your basic roof right here. You got your rafters, you've got your sheathing, your plywood, your vapor barrier right here, and then you've got your metal roofing that we put on top. This is corrugated, it's nice, it lasts a real long time. The thing that doesn't last forever actually are these gasket screws. These little gaskets, they tend to wear out. But this metal is gonna last a long, long time. Okay, so here's our mock roof. We also have a lot of moss. My drill. I like this drill, it's little. I have the bit that fits these screws. These screws are self-tapping. They have like a little drill bit on the tip, basically, that bores through the aluminum or galvanized steel. I don't even know what this is. It's metal though, wait, hold on. Yeah, it's definitely metal. This tip bores through it and it self-drills it, taps it, and then squishes this gasket down and makes a seal. I don't think I have any other materials. Oh wait, I forgot most, one of the most important materials I forgot, chicken wire. All right, right here. This is your standard cluck cluck chicken wire. Once you have it to this point, you wanna attach the chicken wire to the roof. We're gonna just continue to use more of these same gasket screws. I want this little bit of chicken wire to dangle over a little bit because the, when, I want that, when I want this moss to go on, what I want is for, I want it to kind of drape over so it kind of looks like it's growing off of the roof. So I'm gonna just send it a little long like this and let it kind of go over. And that's gonna give me a nice little thing to weave the moss into later. Then I'm gonna take one of my screws. So I'm gonna put it right here in the vertex. The cr oh my gosh, do you know what I just noticed? Really obsessed with the polygon. So this one, I've done a hexagon. hexagon. You're gonna wanna get up in the vertex of the hexagon. You're gonna get right up in this little vertex. I love that it's a hexagon. Put it right there in the little vertex so when this gets crushed down, this gasket squeezes around the chicken wire. That's good. That's a nice seal. Now we've got our chicken wire fastened to our roof. Okay, like this, it's fastened. Now, if you notice, I'm leaving, I, I'm not putting too many screws in it. If you put it down wicked tight, it's gonna be really hard to weave that moss in there. So you want there to be like little spaces so like you can get, work your fingers in there. And I've got clumsy fingers, so I want decent sized holes or gaps or spaces. I want there to be some play in here, like this. If you look down like here, it kind of looks like rolling hills. That's the way you want it to look. Now we're ready to moss it, okay? We're ready to go. We've got different kind of mosses that we've collected. When you collect moss, don't take from the same spot. Don't take all the moss. Don't scrape the moss all off of one tree. Take a little bit from here, a little bit from here, and please do so gently. We went around and we collected different kinds of mosses. These are some of my very favorite. We want to weave through here all this moss and we, we're just gonna fill this up but we're gonna fill it up with different kinds of moss and kind of make it look, I don't know, like it's natural, like it grew here. This is what's so amazing about moss. You know how you see moss grow on metal? You can see moss grow on, on an old car or something like that. It's because moss doesn't actually need to grow in soil. That being said, what we're doing is we just need to get the, the moss woven in enough for it to stay there so when it's at a pitch, the roof is like pitched up like a normal roof, it won't fall down. So I'm gonna gently start weaving in little bits, poking it through, bringing it out so it stays in there. It doesn't need much. If I lift this up and show you, it stays there, it's happy. It could be at like a 90 pitch roof, vertical. You could be at like a 12-12, a 45 pitch roof. You could be at most roofs which are like that. 
steepness. It stays, it doesn't need much. And you see, I only pushed it through in a couple of places. Over the years, this is gonna grow and it's gonna weave into itself and it's gonna actually kind of take over. It's gonna bind itself around this chicken wire. Now, the reason we got really big sheets of it, you'll see that when you spread it out, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to put a little bit in at once. If I had all pieces like this, I'd be putting in, oh gosh, like one little piece of chicken wire at a time. Mm, I don't wanna do that, I'm impatient. I can spread it out like this and cover a large area. Ooh, try to keep that fern in there. So I've got it laid out right here like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start just going through and weaving little bits at a time. We're just stitching this together. We're going through, I know that I put this big old chunk, every place needs a little bit of stitching here and there. I'm gonna go in the middle, I'm gonna poke my finger through and kind of grab some of that and wrapping it around there so that's hooked up. And my roof, if you notice, the metal is proud, it's longer than where this ends on uh, right here where the fascia board would be, okay? If this is, say this is your eave or this is your gable end, you put some fascia board here, the roof would extend past it, and then you'd have this moss which dangles past that. People ask me a lot of times, does this moss destroy the roof? Does it kill the roof? Well, not only does this metal roofing withstand a lot of terrible conditions, wet, rain, sun, heat, cold, all that stuff, so it can live a long time even under those adverse conditions, the moss actually protects it. The moss absorbs water. So when rain does fall on it, before it even has a chance to hit the roof, this moss is gonna start absorbing that water and keeping it off of the roof altogether. Another cool thing is that the moss also keeps the sunlight off of it. So it kind of stabilizes that and keeps that UV off of it. My mom used to rub zinc on my nose and put 50 proof on me. And this is better, I wish I had put moss on me. So this is like your 50 proof sunscreen. This is like your 500 proof sunscreen right here, okay? The other thing is look, it's like this whole, it's basically not even touching the roof. This is held on, it's kind of resting there. It's like a blanket. It's not just like leaching down onto it and stuck onto the roof and, and kind of eroding it and corroding it and digesting it and destroying it. It's just resting on it. Boom. There we have it. We put all our moss in. Is it gonna stay, you ask? When it's up at full pitch, when it's all steep and pointy and not just flat? Check it out. What about when the wind comes? What about the rain? That's how we moss a roof. Stay tuned for the next episode of Things I Think I Know How To Do where I'll try to mansplain something else to you. Bye. Please be sure to like and subscribe this channel so you never miss an update. And please back us on Patreon so we can keep these free videos coming. Yes, free ain't free. We need you, back us. Please. <laughs>